the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven are two different kingdoms. Now in the Gospels, the title of Son of God is given to the Lord Jesus Christ and also the title the Son of Man. And if you read your Bibles, you will see that the title Son of God is always related to the Kingdom of God and the title Son of Man is always related to the Kingdom of Heaven. The title Son of Man is given to the Lord Jesus Christ and it's always used in relation to Israel and the Kingdom of Heaven and the title Son of God is used in relation to the Kingdom of God and also in relation to the church which is made up of people but it's still a spiritual body of Christ. Now remember the Bible says that the Holy Spirit takes a born again believer and baptizes him into the body of Christ. It's a spiritual body. So the title Son of God is related to the church and to the kingdom of God. Whereas the title Son of Man is related to the kingdom of heaven and to Israel which is an earthly kingdom. So this is something very important for you to make note of. Now to further show you the difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven, look at Romans chapter 14 verse 17. Let me show you this verse. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Paul says the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, which means it is not physical, but it is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Now these three, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, these three are spiritual things. They are not physical things. So Paul is very careful to make this distinction uh, between the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God and say that the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, it's not physical, but the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Look at also what the Lord Jesus Christ said about the kingdom of God in Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not by observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So Jesus Christ is very, very clear about the kingdom of God. He says, it's not something that you can see with your eyes. It's inside of you. It's within. Righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost are things that we experience inside of us. So the kingdom of God we understand mainly is a spiritual kingdom. Whereas the kingdom of heaven, I will show you in a moment, is a physical, literal, earthly and, uh, and uh, a visible kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is a physical kingdom, it's a literal kingdom, it's not a spiritual one, that's what it means. It's an earthly kingdom, not a heavenly kingdom. Though the name of this is the kingdom of heaven, it's not a heavenly kingdom. It is an earthly kingdom. It is a kingdom that's established on the earth. And it's a visible kingdom, whereas uh, the kingdom of God, Jesus said, does not come with observation. You cannot see it. It's inside of you. But this is outside. It's on the earth and you can see it. And this is a very, very important distinction that you need to see in the Bible before you can begin to understand this great subject of the kingdom of heaven.